Chinese room argument is an argument that was proposed by the American philosopher John Searle to show that a computer program couldn't be intelligent, that AI wasn't possible in the sense that a, a computer program couldn't have a mind. So even though it could simulate a mind, it could act as if it were intelligent, it wouldn't really be intelligent. And the, the idea is, is quite straightforward. What he proposed was that there would be a, a man in a room with an instruction manual. And at, from one side of the room, he would receive input in the form of Chinese characters. Then he would look up this uh, instruction book that he had, and it would tell him on the basis of the Chinese characters that he received, what Chinese characters to output at the other side of the room. Now, it turns out, uh, according to, to this thought experiment, that the input consists of questions in Chinese, and the output consists of the corresponding answers to those questions in Chinese. Now, if that's the case, this system looks intelligent. Um, it can answer meaningful questions and can answer them in Chinese. So surely this is an example of intelligence. But according to Searle, Searle says, well, actually, I am the man in the room who is operating this instruction manual. And I simply don't understand a word of Chinese. So although it looks like this room, this Chinese room, understands Chinese, well, it can communicate in Chinese, but it has no understanding. Now, Searle's point here was that what the man is doing in the room and in, in terms of processing these instructions, he's doing just what a computer does. And so merely by following instructions, implementing a computer program, a computer program could never be intelligent. Now, this is a, a very controversial argument and many people have disagreed with Searle about this. But one of the things that I have suggested is that if we think of the argument not so much in terms of intelligence, but in terms of whether a computer program could be conscious, then I think this argument becomes more persuasive. Because we might get caught up in debates about understanding or intelligence, and maybe you could say, well, perhaps in some sense, this Chinese room has understanding or intelligence, but does it have conscious experience? So for example, if the input was somebody expressing anger um, and the output was somebody giving an angry response, well, it might give inputs and outputs as if it were angry, but the system would have no emotional, emotional experience. It wouldn't feel angry. And so this alternative version of the Chinese room argument, I think is more persuasive to show that a computer program couldn't have emotions or more Generally, it couldn't have conscious experiences. And so there'll always be this fundamental difference between a human being and a computer program.